Apple just released iOS 17 beta one for registered developers. And here are more than 20 standout features that I've been loving so far. By the way, if you want to see every new iOS 17 feature in a much more in-depth video, hit that subscribe button down below because that video is on the way. Before we get into the features, I do also want to mention that the compatible devices are iPhone 10R and 10S and newer. So if you have an iPhone 10 or iPhone 8, unfortunately, your device is no longer supported with the latest iOS 17 release. All right, let's get into these new features. And the first thing is inside of the messages application. So we got quite a few additions here, and you'll probably notice right off the bat some of the changes. So first off, we have audio messages now have transcription. So you can see I sent an audio message and it auto transcribed that in like a second, like pretty much right after I sent it, it transcribed it. You'll You'll also notice this plus button right here on the left hand corner and when you tap on that we have a completely new menu where you can see everything all in one place and if you swipe up you can see more so you can see all your applications here you can see also a brand new feature that i really love called check-in and when you tap on that it shows you what this feature is about let your friend know you've arrived with check-in your friend will be notified automatically when you get to your destination and your iphone will also keep up with your progress and this is great so you can know if your friend is potentially in trouble because it says you'll be prompted and you have 15 minutes to respond if you are not making progress towards your destination and if you tap on continue you can choose the data you would like to share with maybe a parent a significant other a friend you can do all of that straight within here so you can see we have a limited option Option, which includes current location and details about battery and network signal and full which includes all limited data plus route traveled and location of last iPhone unlock and Apple watch removal so very in-depth stuff you get here so I go ahead and tap on full and continue it says your friend is notified when you send the check-in when they arrive and also you are delayed and do not respond when prompted so when you send a check-in I do not have a sim card or cell service in this phone but you kind of get the point of how check-in works it is great for those who want to kind of track their friends and make sure they get home safely you might have also noticed in that little menu over there that we have this stickers button and stickers have some additional Additions here as well so we've had stickers for a while where you can kind of just stick things onto messages to react to them but now we have where you can use your own photos to create what's called live stickers so if you go here and go to new sticker I'm just gonna select a photo so I'll just select this photo of a dog and you can see it outlines the subject so you can choose which one you want to use so I'll just use this one right here so we'll just tap and hold on that and then add sticker I guess it didn't get that guy out of the picture but anyways if you tap on this you can see you can now have that as a sticker you can insert it into the chat or you can tap and hold and drag it on top of something to react to that message iOS 17 also improves the autocorrect so now when you type a word in wrong and your iPhone autocorrects it you will get a temporary underline so you know what's being changed and you can also tap on it to go back to what the original word was so no more ducking mistakes in the keyboard you'll also see we have predictive text here as well built into the keyboard so if I start typing what is up it will recommend what the next word is and of course it will learn by how you type what to predict for you know what you're going to type next so that is now built in to the keyboard in iOS 17. another big change that you're going to notice right away after installing iOS 17 is contact posters and this changes how incoming calls look on your device so you can see this is what it looks like when somebody is calling with these all new contact posters it just shows the name up top and an image of whatever you select it's kind of like the lock screen that we saw with iOS 16 but now when incoming calls are coming in you will see that and same with FaceTimes and you can see when you answer it it still shows that image in the background with the name up there and uh, you know all the buttons are overlaid on that so it looks really nice and really modern and to customize this for somebody you just need to go into the contacts go to that contacts name and then go to edit add photo just like you normally would and then choose a photo or a memoji I'm just going to choose a memoji for this we'll select my memoji right there we'll select a little look right there so we'll do that tap on next so we're going to choose that as the image and then we're going to go next next and then you can see it shows what the poster will look like right there but if you don't like that you can customize the poster and you can kind of customize what you would like to see there uh, if you wanted to change the photo if you wanted to change it to a monogram you can do all that and we'll just skip on that for now so now when Mike J calls I will get what you just saw in that preview and what I showed earlier 
on the incoming call. The default wallpaper for iOS 17 looks like this. It looks awesome, but it also changes when you go into dark mode. So you can see that is the dark mode version of the iOS 17 wallpaper. Very cool. Another feature that stood out to me was the ability to share air tags with up to five people. So you can see when you go to your air tag, you have a new option here for share this air tag. When you tap on add person, you get this share this air tag. Others can locate this air tag and it says tracking notifications will be muted. If you tap on continue, you can choose who you want to share that AirTag with. Now you may have already been looking at my home screen and noticing, but yes, we now have interactive widgets with iOS 17. We've been asking for this for years now, for many years, since like iOS 14, we've been asking for interactive widgets and now we have it. So you will see for music, for example, we have the play button that has an outline there. And if we tap on that, it will start playing the music and you can pause it from there as well. And for example, for the home application, you can see all of my home kit devices. I can turn those on or off just by tapping on them. I don't need to go into the application anymore to perform the actions. That is extremely handy and nice. And this is also on iPad OS 17 as well. And then going back to music, a big new feature, a big new change in iOS 17 is that we now have Crossfade. Crossfade is back in Apple Music. And you will also notice that the little now playing bar at the bottom looks different. It's much more thin and lightweight, but we now have Crossfade in iOS 17. You just need to go into your settings to enable that but a warning about beta one when you enable that and then you go into the settings for apple music it crashes but the crossfade does work once you enable that and speaking of music that also gets better with ios 17 because of SharePlay. so there's a new feature with SharePlay where others can control the music in carplay so others can kind of you know play the music on the head unit in the car just with their iphone as long as they're on ios 17. they can also adjust and mess with the playlist you can customize the playlist as well without having to actually you know initiate a call or anything like that now this is one of my favorite features in ios 17 and this is called standby mode and this is available for all ios 17 devices you do not need to have an always on display and what this does is essentially turns your iPhone into the perfect nightstand companion. So you can see as long as you're on a charger and in landscape mode and your device is locked, you will see this right here. So you can see it shows the calendar. Oops, must have got off the charger there. It'll show the calendar and it will show, you know, different things going on. You can customize these widgets as well. So it is a little bit finicky since it is beta one. So we have the clock and the calendar. And if you swipe over, you will see that we have a randomly selected image along with the time. And if you swipe over again, you have a different type of clock. This looks like one that's maybe meant for you know when you're going to sleep but if you tap and hold right here you can see you can go through the different types of widgets you can have here so solar world analog digital you have all these different clocks to choose from but you also have widgets to choose from as well so if we go back and go to right here where we have the calendar and all this if you tap and hold on this you will see that we have a very similar interface to what we get on the home screen with smart rotate widget suggestions and you can see you have these different things that you could add in to here. So if we tap on the plus in the top left, you can add batteries, you could add books, calendar, you can add all of these things in here. So if I add home, for example, home controls, add that, tap on done. We can see my home controls there right now. So again, this makes for like the perfect, you know, bedside companion, the perfect companion when you're working and you're at home and you just have your device stuck to, you know, an accessory like this and it's in landscape mode. It's really great to have this feature on iOS 17. And you can customize this in settings as well. So if you go to your settings, you can see we have an all new menu item for standby. It's just a black and white icon. If you tap on that, you can turn it on. So you have a master kill switch. You also have always on. So it says when always on is enabled, the display will intelligently turn off when not in use. When attention is detected, iPhone will not sleep the display. So that's really cool. And then you do also have night mode. You can also use motion to wake as well. So it says standby will turn on the display when motion is detected at night. Super cool. Another standout feature that I haven't used just yet is that autofill verification codes that are received in mail work just like they do with text messages. So if you get like a one-time verification code as, as an email instead of as a text message, that will now also be filled in automatically so you can log in without ever leaving Safari, whether that's a text message or an email. Another standout feature in iOS 17 is inside of our Siri and search settings. And you will notice up top where it says, listen for, there's something new there. It says, listen for Siri or hey S. 
So you can now drop the hey in hey s if you have this first option selected. Now, if you select this, it does say that certain headphones do require you to still say the hey part, but you can now activate Siri without saying the hey part. So let me try that. Siri, what time is it? What day is it? What time is it in California? So notice how I didn't have to ask Siri each time, you know, I didn't have to say Siri's name to get another response. That is also new in iOS 17. It's called back to back requests. And you're now able to, you know, ask multiple questions in just kind of one time of activating Siri, which is really nice. If you go into the Safari application, you will notice a big change when you go into the tab view. So you will see at the bottom. Now we have private, we have our tabs, and then we have our tab groups right here. So it's easy to go into different tab groups and also into private tabs. Now you'll also notice that private browsing is locked and that's because you now need a password to use private browsing. So if I do this, you can see that it unlocks it and now I'm able to go into a private window and you also have advanced tracking and fingerprinting protection. So it says helps prevent websites from tracking or identifying your device using advanced techniques. And also we have enhanced extension control. So it says extensions with website access are off by default and they can be turned on later in settings. So that is all new in private browsing specifically. Now in settings, you can disable that. So if you don't want to have face ID to unlock private browsing, you can turn that off right there. But above that, we also have another new feature in Safari for profiles. So it says profiles can help you keep your Safari info separate, like favorites, history, and tabs. So you can now have different profiles. Basically, if you have maybe, you know, multiple users on a device, you can now have profiles that are set for each person in Safari. If you go into Safari and you go down to passwords, you will see up top, we have family passwords, and this allows you to share passwords and pass keys with your family. Now, if you tap on get started, it shows you that you could add trusted contacts. You can choose what you share and you could also remove anybody at any time from having access to that password or pass key. And when you tap on continue, this is where you can add people, either loved ones, you know, significant others, friends, whatever you want to add, you can add them right there just by tapping on add people. Now, easily one of the best features in iOS 17 is something I've not been able to get work yet, but it is name drop. This allows you to bring your phone nearby and use airdrop to transfer your contact details to somebody else. So now once everybody gets on iOS 17, you're not going to have to text the person your name and they're not going to have to text you their name back. So you guys have each other's contact information. You're now just going to be able to tap phones with each other and you're going to be able to transfer each other's contact information with a tap of a phone. So that is called name drop. Awesome name for that feature. And it also just a very useful feature as well. And then also with airdrop, you can now bring your phone close together to initiate a transfer via airdrop. But again, I've tried that here. I have two devices on iOS 17, but I've not been able to get that to work, but you will see in the airdrop section, you do have a new little section down here that shows what you appear as. And then the final thing I wanted to mention is that live voicemail has been added to iOS 17. So what this means is that you can now view a real time transcription of the message that somebody is leaving you as they speak. So if somebody calls you, you don't answer, they decide to leave a message, you'll be able to see as they're speaking what they're saying in your voicemail section. And let me just tell you, I have found a lot of other new features and changes in iOS 17, but I'm going to save those for my big iOS 17 video. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button down below. You will not regret it. But if you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the iOS 17 standout features, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And again, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future iOS 17 videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.